Let me come in here now. And uh, good morning. Good to see you. And uh, the thing here is that Nigerians are wondering if truly we are in a recession uh, because of uh, happenings around us, especially around government and its officials. Uh, now that we're looking to tackling this, uh, the Revenue Mobilization and Fiscal Commission should also be brought into perspective. How have you been in talks with the Commission, uh, knowing full well that uh, for 2017 we should be looking at uh, uh, emoluments, uh, re talking about uh, recurrent emolument for political office holders? Is the RMAFC looking in that direction to see if there's going to be a slash in emoluments of these uh, political office holders? Okay, good morning. Um, well, I, I don't know what Ramfac's brief is uh, with regards to political office holders. I know that um, the President and the Vice President certainly uh, had indicated a, a cut in, in their remuneration. And I think uh, most of us in, in government uh, certainly have uh, trimmed back uh, our expenses. We're driving the cars that we inherited from our predecessors. We're bound by some of the efficiency measures that our efficiency unit has driven in. It's one rule for everybody. So, we're, you know, the, the first class travel and all the, all the wastage. We're, there's a great focus on reducing wastage in government, uh, and that's an ongoing engagement. I don't know specifically what RAMFAC are, are looking to do, um, but I would say that this government's very committed to being very prudent with how we spend uh, public money, especially at this time. But you, 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 I think you would agree with most Nigerians that it is important that your ministry or the commission speaks with you on this uh, because most Nigerians, they still think that uh, this whole thing or talk about recession doesn't really work around government and its officials. It looks like it's just uh, within the ordinary people. Take, for instance, some have started talking about the, the entourage of uh, the president going to the United Nations General Assembly. They think that it is unacceptable and now that we are in a recession. Uh, well, I can speak personally to the um, United Nations General Assembly. I'm here today because uh, a circular was sent to say, look, if you don't have essential meetings to do at, in the United Nations, don't go. And many ministers who were slated to do side events, as, or, and I'm one, um, have, have simply stayed behind. Um, well, from what I hear, this is one of the smallest entourages Nigeria has taken. And indeed, ministers were told, normally ministers would be on ground in New York uh, to greet the president when he arrives. That's the protocol. Ministers who are going were told, come in for your meeting only. Let's save the hotel because you don't need to sit in the hotel for three days if you don't have a meeting. I think th th this government is really very much focused on, on value for money at this time. I, I mean, I don't know the details, but I was in the planning meeting because I was actually meant to go until I got a circular letter to say, look, there's no need for, for ministers that don't have main meetings I I in the General Assembly to, to, to attend. And many of us are, are here in Nigeria for that reason. Well, it's good you're speaking to the people and they're listening on this and seeing the effort of government. But one other area you touched on is about procurement. Are you looking to get in a centralized procurement base for the nation? I think there already is one with the Bureau of Public Procurement. Uh, and they keep a, a, a list of, of prices which they use to check before contracts are awarded. Uh, and the efficiency unit is working also with the Bureau of Public Procurement to set up price guides for day-to-day -day items, paper, stationery, and so on, so that we have price limits. Or, uh, it's a price checker type function that the efficiency unit are working on with the Bureau of Public Procurement, which will remove a lot of the uh, flexibility in how much is charged for certain items, keeping a, a, an updated database of, of prices. These are all the, the type of initiatives that we are driving to make sure that... Um, uh, the cost of governance is reduced. I think that's an objective that we had set from the beginning. We've said, look, we need to spend money on capital. We need to cut our recurrent, and we've been very consistent around this. Well, some of those who uh, had spoken about this emergency bill to the Senate, some of them initially thought, look, they don't see any reason for this bill. Uh, their argument is, for instance, if the budget had come in early, they may have cut out some of this bottlenecks. How do you think that that bill will eventually f uh, fare and the Senate? Um, well, it's difficult to say. Um, I think there's a national engagement about the economy. And we've said, look, we need to stimulate this economy, and, and the stimulus will start with government spending. And of course, we hope that it will then catalyze 
uh, public spending, uh, sorry, private sector spending, and indeed uh, attract um, further investment even from outside of the country. I think we've identified some challenges that need legislative uh, uh, approval. Um, I think that the legislature will debate the issues in the context of what does the economy need. If we're trying to stimulate the economy, we're spending money and it's not trickling down at the right rate and we've identified some bottlenecks, I think there will be a very robust debate about what powers are needed or indeed what measures, there may not be powers, what measures can be taken both uh, with the executive and indeed the legislature to undo these bottlenecks and get the economy moving. But everybody's objective is the same. We need to get the economy moving. We have a plan. We have a strategy. We've raised the money, even in very difficult times, uh, and now we just need to spend it. But we need to spend it very, very effectively. Let me bring in this other perspective. I mean, uh, taking you back to when uh, they were given, I think they call it budget support, or some call it bailout to states to enable them pay salaries, although many thought they don't know how good the idea is, borrowing to pay salaries. But about the private sector, we've seen companies here struggling. Many have laid off workers. But there's been no talk whatsoever about bailout to companies. Why is this? Well, I think when you're going through a structural change of the nature that we're going through in the economy, and it's a very radical structural change. Um, we, we've had a, a shock to our major revenue source. Um, we've, we've had a, a fairly large um, macro hits on, on the economy. There are going to be effects and I think government's role is to respond and to respond holistically. Um, we started off by looking very closely at the public sector and that was because collectively they're the largest single employer of labour across the nation and when they weren't paying salaries there was a complete slowdown in, in economic activity um, across the nation. Now in terms of businesses we have to look at sectors and, in, in, and our response must be sector sp specific and we are already engaging with the sectors um, I believe I'm seeing MAN at some point this week we are engaging with the NESG and we're trying to understand how is this impacting you and how can government best support you. Now those supports are a number of measures. The stimulus spending is private sector driven. Uh, the money we're spending is being paid to contractors. Uh, these are private sector contracts. We're not doing public works. In other words, government is not directly spending money. We're spending the money through the private sector. So there is a contraction in, in certain areas and we do need to sit down and work out how we address and how we best support uh, companies that are hurting at this difficult time and we are engaging with them. There was a, an engagement yesterday, a formal engagement with the, with the Vice President with the economic team. But I think what's more important is the informal engagements. Most of us uh, ministers, and I speak for myself and indeed all my colleagues, we have an open door policy. Um, there were very few people at yesterday's engagement that we hadn't met before. Informally, privately, we're listening to them. We're trying to understand where the problems are. Uh, there's a, uh, for example, tax is one of the issues. There's a tax policy review committee that was set up under Professor Sunny that has taken the submissions on the problems in the tax system. And uh, I, the draft report is, 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 is now ready and we'll be pushing out the tax policy going forward. And some of those measures will um, uh, help to... Um, um, sorry, I've lost my words. Um, some of those measures will help to sort out the problems that uh, the manufacturing sector and other sectors are, are experiencing. Likewise, we have a policy uh, committee that are looking at uh, import duty uh, waivers and, um, and concessions, and we're trying to work out where do we go with that. Again, we have a, a draft. We're now consulting with the, the stakeholders to ensure that the policies that we bring out actually address their needs. Mm. Because we've seen here that uh, the private sector have listed, I'm looking at the front page of the Telegraph, a uh, new Telegraph, they say private sector lists 13 factors destroying businesses in Nigeria. You have this one, access to finance, access to forex, high interest rates, high energy, transport, Quite a list, mm. really. Mm. And you must be able to say at some point, this is one thing we've tackled mm. successfully mm. at this point. Can you pick any one of these areas where you can, the private sector can say, in this area, government should be, have been seen to be doing something in, in that particular respect? What I would say to that, Mopo, is in all of those areas, government is intervening. Look, last year, uh, let's talk about transport. You've spoken about the high okay. co cost just of transport. We'll just moment. take transport. Yeah, ju just a moment. Okay. We, we will talk about transport in yeah. just a moment. We need to take a break okay. now. Sunrise Daily will continue in just a moment to join us again.